I wanted to do a little recap of uh, when Chris and Ian were here. Uh, one of the things that you guys are going to probably see a lot through when we're training is that I, I don't, we don't talk very much or I don't talk very much. And, and I wanted to kind of separate or disassociate the explanation part of the video versus um, the actual training part, because I find, especially with this past weekend, because we had four guys in town or four of us training. So if I'm explaining in the midst of four people training, the intensity and the effort into each set can't really be that high because you're going to have rest periods that are just prolonged way too long. So, um, you know, one of the first and foremost, what I want to say is when I have some, somebody come in town or a few guys come in town, the main thing that I want to accomplish is just us having fun together. You know, I'm very structured uh, on my own in terms of my own training. But when you have several people coming in and, and, you know, let's just take this weekend. Chris had just competed four times over the past year, finished second at the Olympia. Um, Ian has now just started his contest prep season coming off, uh, you know, just a, a time of downtime. So basically you have three different guys, me, who's kind of in the middle of my off season, uh, Chris, who's, you know, taking some time off, taking some time to rest and recover. And then Ian, who's just started his prep. So you have three guys in completely three different phases of their season. Um, so when we come together, I just kind of wanted to assess where we were all at. And, and like I said, have a lot of fun in the gym. So I kind of threw my structure, uh, you know, on the back burner. And, uh, you know, for legs, what we did is, and also uh, just to mention with legs, we, we all were either in the midst of or are kind of overcoming some type of injury. Uh, Ian just tweaked his back a few weeks ago. Chris was having some uh, quad tendon issues, uh, which has kind of been prolonged. And then, and then also myself, I got a strained adductor and then also have some knee issues on my left knee. So with that being said, you know, I can't go into a structured plan with three different guys that are, you know, in, in three different places at the time. So we kind of came in here and just started to assess where we were at. Uh, we did a lot of warm up sets on a leg press and we actually kind of moved on from that and didn't do any working sets there. After we were all warm, I kind of decided to, hey, let's move on and get something that's a little bit more demanding and then go from there. So we went to hack squat and, and basically within these movement patterns that we were doing, uh, being that the structure wasn't the, of utmost importance, I just wanted to make sure that you know, we were truly training you know, all out within our set. So again, going back to the video I did um, you know, on, on my approach to training, that part of our training stayed intact. So basically we worked up to a top end set or two top end sets and we took those sets for what we felt like we could you know, truly get out of them. Um, and even with me, you're gonna see with, within my sets that I did, again, I'm wanting to get as most out of the set that I can without actually making my adductor worse. You know, so I, it's kind of a fine line there, like I'm pushing as hard as I can, but I also don't wanna pass that threshold of, of restraining or, or aggravating my adductor and then setting me back in training a few weeks. So just like I said, guys, you know, when, when people come in town, it's gonna to be more about just, uh, having fun um, and I think you know there's a lot to be said about just having fun and not always stressing every variable just kind of getting after it together having fun together pushing each other you know camaraderie is a big part of, of what I, I believe in and what I want to continue to build um, within athletes and as a team so that was a little bit about our, our leg session that we did together and then you know the same thing for chest um, you guys I think you're really going to enjoy the chest workout that we did Ian is an incredible presser. Um, he, he actually, in my opinion, that's probably the smoothest I've ever seen 200 pound dumbbells pressed. Um, and not only did he press them very, very smoothly, that was our second working uh, movement of the day. You know, So he already came in that tax from, from incline bench. Um, but again, you know, really just focus on trying to maximize each set, take each set to, to the brink. And then, and then we moved on, you know, so we, I think we ended up doing four exercises for chest, um, two top end sets of each. And, and, you know, within those top end sets for chest, basically what we did is we worked out to, to one max effort set, and then we reduced the load slightly and then took a second set to failure after that. So, um, overall it was, it was a great week of training. I'm excited for Ian this year. He's uh, he took all of last year off to improve. Um, and those, those improvements have definitely come, uh, and now it's about maintaining those things. So, you know, in terms of his prep, one of the biggest things that I want to focus on this year is just maintaining that size and coming down gradually because he has a tendency to lose weight fast. Um, we saw that when we prepped together in 2016. 
So I just want to make sure that when when he comes down, it's very gradual weight loss, and we and we avoid those big drops. You know, those three to five pound drop days. Um, as much as we can, and if they do happen, to make sure that we feed him properly to to avoid that going forward. Um, you know, because he does have a lot of new tissue, but it, it is new tissue. So, in the in the process of a dieting phase, that tissue is going to want to leave. You know, we have to force it to stay, and we're going to force it to stay through training heavy. You know, his, his training will not change. Um, you know, and and we we worked very closely together on training through 2016 when we worked together. And now, you know, especially with my older guys, like I kind of want to give them the reins to assess variables on their own within what we work together on, uh, you know, as a team. So heavy training is going to stay intact. Um, and then, like I said, just trying to minimize uh, those big drops that he had in the past, especially towards the end. You know, the closer he got into, into shape, it seemed like the weight was just falling off. So now that I know that. You know, it's just making sure that we stay on top of things ahead of time. Um, and then also, you know, I just want to commend Ian on, on his work that he's done with, uh, with Chris. Um, they had a great first year as a pro together. Uh, Chris won two shows and then obviously, you know, ended up finishing second at the Olympia. Um, so, you know, it's, it's very exciting to see them as a team as well and, and having them, them both down here. Uh, you know, I don't want to take any of the credit for anything that they've done together as a team. And I just want to make that clear. Um, so anyway, that was kind of a little bit of a recap. In the future, when I have guys in town, um, you know, some guys are going to come, be coming in to specifically learn from me, whereas other guys, you know, the Chris and Ians out there, I just want to make sure that they come in and that they're, they're getting pushed, you know, as hard as they can be, you know, because for, for those guys who live in Canada, they don't have access to the equipment that we have here. They don't have access to, you know, a spot at times. So that was more the part of training that I wanted to truly get out of this past week is to really just help them be pushed, um, you know, and bring that back home with them now that Ian's going back into prep, kind of that fresh reminder of, of those sets that he needs to get, those reps that he needs to get. You know, as you, you guys will see on the hack squat, he actually at one point he tried to like shake me off and say that he couldn't get another one and he, and he got it, you know. So that is, uh, you know, that's what it's about for me is just finding those reps, finding that effort when you think you don't have it. Um, but like I said, there's going to be guys coming into town where it will be more of a, hey, let me help you. Um, let me teach you some things and I'll make sure to kind of walk you guys through that process as well. Um, I'm looking forward to having a lot of people in and we're going to continue through this all throughout the year. So thank you guys for watching.